Steve Gonzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. Take a minute here, make sure that everything goes live. I want to talk to you guys about injuries and the Goldilocks approach because it doesn't matter what injury it is, uh, there's things that you can do to get over them quickly. Now, here's the thing that you might not want to hear. If you just run on something for a really long time, there's a good chance it's going to take a really long time for it to go away. So if you can understand this model, I'm actually going to show you a picture that I drew for a patient recently. And if you're interested in learning more on this and you are injured and you kind of want some help, I recommend going to tryrunsmart.com. There's actually uh, something you can, you can sign up for there that will, you're looking for my injury management seminar, which is inside the Run Smart Training Center. And if you're just looking for some strength workouts to help with this, I'm gonna talk about that too. Just go to tryrunsmart.com. Okay, so this is what I drew for my patient. And I'm gonna talk you through this because this looks a little funny, but this makes a difference pretty much for anyone who's dealing with a muscle strain, tendonitis, whatever it might be. I wanna explain this for you. This is a picture I took of the whiteboard in the clinic. This patient was dealing, if you can see it here, was dealing with a calf strain um, in their soleus and just kind of drawing through the healing process. And if you can understand this, you can really get over a lot of injuries, but you have to be committed to it. You have to make the right decisions, right? So what I wanna talk about is just injured tissue. And when, when you're having something come on, what's actually happening? If you're, you're having a calf pull, Achilles issue, plantar fascia, um, IT band syndrome, what's happening? So um, you can see here, this says happy, my son wrote this and I'm not gonna erase it ever. Um, he's only four, so don't, don't judge the handwriting. But um, I'm gonna see if I can get this to come out well. All your muscles and most of your tissues, other than a joint, they have a point where they go from point, we'll call it point A down to point B. And they all have fibers that should run parallel with each other. So they run down or they run wherever they might go from point A to point B. The trouble with breakdown is that at the root cause of all muscle tendon injuries is micro tearing. The, the tissue starts to pull apart and you start to get uh, an actual tear. If you think about a piece of paper for a minute, you just put a little tear in it. The whole structure itself is still intact but this little issue right here where I tore it, that's gonna cause an inflammatory process. And then if you keep pulling on it, it just keeps getting worse, right? So what I wanna to talk to you about is just this model because let's just go ahead and put a tear in here, just like this. I'm gonna go like that. I want you to think of injuries as just like if you cut your hand, you're gonna have an open wound. Sometimes you get bruising, that is from bleeding. Um, but if you cut yourself, there's gonna be an open cut. Now the natural body, the body's natural response is to try to heal this for you. The trouble is if you keep pulling on this, it just keeps widening and deepening. So you have to recognize those signs. The key signs to know right out of the gate is if you're, if you, because you know, you don't wanna stop running if you don't have to, and everyone's dealing probably with some aches and pains, but key rule, I talked about this in a previous live, is if you're sore running and it starts to bleed into the rest of your day, going up and down stairs and walking is the key too. If those are starting to become problems, walking and stairs, you probably have an injury that you want to you know, be watchful for. But if you keep pulling on this, it just keeps widening. If you leave it alone, this is what happens. There's always a little period of rest um, with any injury. So let's go ahead and just delete this. And the body's going to take that wound and it's going to close it, right? Just like if you cut your skin, the body's going to pull the skin back together and it's going to close it just like this. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, Let's just darken it. It's nice and nice and noise there. So it's gonna close it. The trouble with this early on is when it closes it, it's very easy to open up again. So if you think about if you just cut your knuckle, right, and you keep doing this to it, that knuck, that cut is gonna keep on opening and opening and opening. So what we wanna do is we wanna let the body go through its natural healing process. What is that? It's gonna come in next and it's gonna start to scar this down. Okay? So just like a scab forms on the skin, your calf, your quad, your IT band, your plantar fascia, your Achilles, whatever, your high hamstring, your hamstring, whatever it is, it's going to go in and it's going to start scarring that down. The scar is weak to start off. And if you look at this, remember, all the fibers go parallel. And now you have a snag in the line. So if you pull too hard, the fibers aren't aligned anymore for a good pull. So it's very easy to re-injure it. What you need to do is you need to take this tissue right here and you need to go okay i need to get this to turn back into 
I gotta really order a black marker so you guys can see this better. But we want this to turn, in. I'm gonna move this in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Um, you want to, this to turn into the parallel fibers over here. I'm gonna straighten this out, really organized and planned today. But you need this to turn back into this. So how do you do that? Now here's the thing, if you do nothing, it's gonna stay like this and you'll feel better, you'll start running, and all of a sudden it's gonna, you're gonna feel pop or you're gonna feel pain, and you just broke open the scar. Then it's gotta rescar itself. Then you have to go through the whole cycle again. So if you do too much, you open it up. If you do nothing and you just rest it, what ends up happening is it sits there as scar tissue and just doesn't ever turn back into normal tissue. The person who does nothing, like, oh, I'm just gonna take a week off and see how it is. The thing scars up, it's like, oh, you know, you do the, the arbitrary couple of bounces, and you're like, I think I can run today. And then you go out and you're like, oh, damn it, it's still there. It's because the scar is still there and it's not very strong. So what you have to do is what we call the Goldilocks approach. You need to, I'll talk about this more in the next couple lives, but you need to take this back to this by adding load to it, stressing the scar, and then stopping before you break it open. Over time, what happens is the scar will get stronger, 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 and then you just resume back into your running. But if you think about this, just from a, a level of injury and looking at the cut on the skin, because you can't see it, like a, a Achilles tendonitis, you can't look down necessarily and see the tearing or the scarring and all that stuff. It's tough to know where you're at in the cycle. You just got to know how to do that. Now, I talk about this again. If you want to learn more, go to tryrunsmart.com. We have strength workouts and um, an injury management seminar that goes into detail of all the steps with this so you can get back onto the road. But... Here's what I would, I would encourage you all to do, is when you're trying to reload any tissue, if you're looking to reload your calf, your quad, your hamstring, your plantar fascia, whatever it is, one of the best spots to go and start with is hip strength and core strength. Because not only are you not gonna just sit there and just pull on this really hard, um, but you're gonna start res uh, fixing a lot of the issues that cause a lot of injuries. So you're gonna go right to that, and then you're gonna start working into reloading this tissue so this can go back to this. The cool thing about your body is that it can heal and it has the, body, the ability to regenerate certain tissues. So if you give it the right stress and strain, you find that Goldilocks approach where you, you're doing not too much that breaks it open or not too little that just leaves it there as a scar, things heal. You just gotta go through that. Again, if you wanna learn more on this, you want some strength workouts to help with this stuff, to prevent it, you wanna just learn how, the, how my injury management um, program, go to tryrunsmart.com, it's all there. You can sign up and check that out. And I hope this helps you guys because injuries, they run rampant, pun intended, they run rampant. Um, and they're certainly gonna happen, but you, you don't have to miss a lot of time when they do happen. So hope everyone has a great day. I'm gonna go out and get a run in here shortly. And I uh, hope this helps for you. And I'm gonna go and shut this off. Thanks guys, bye.